Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to Waffle Square, where I obsess about things and you get to benefit from it. Well, I think most of us that work on older cars probably have one of these, a battery tender or battery charger. But what if a charger like this could also serve the function of a battery tester and an alternator tester and a crank tester, just like when you go to an auto parts store and they come out with that big expensive piece of equipment to test your battery. Well, in this video, I am happy to introduce you to the Top Don TB6000 Pro. So let's get started. Obsession. Brought to you by Waffle Square. Now I've worked really hard to study up on this piece of equipment, download the app, which is currently still in beta format and learn all of its ins and outs so I can bring you the best quality review. So if you find this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? Now, before we get started, I wanna give you two points of clarification. Number one, I'm not a mechanic. I just dress like one on YouTube. So you're just coming along for the ride to see how I do things. Number two, I'm neither paid nor sponsored by Top Don. They simply reached out to me and offered to send me this unit for free for my independent review. So let's hop in, unbox it, do an overview, and I really think you're gonna enjoy the capabilities of this unit. All right, here's everything that comes in the package. So you get the unit itself with a nice big display screen that we'll go over in a moment pretty long cable. Then you get um, the charge or testing cable that comes out to two separate types of connections. So you have the very traditional clamps and then you also get the ring style of connectors. Pretty good manual, although it doesn't talk about what the testing uh, results mean. So hopefully the app will be very descriptive because there's really no mention in here. But one thing the manual does say is that for testing, you should not use these ring connectors. You should only use the spring clamps. Now there's two types of modes that you can use uh, this battery charger and tester. So for charging, you can use standalone mode, which you just cycle through uh, what you want on the power button and then double tap to start the charging. Or you can use a, a, an app on your phone and connect the unit via Bluetooth and control it that way. For testing, however, um, you cannot test on the just the screen in standalone mode, you have to use the app. So we'll go over that in a little bit. Since we're in a nice controlled environment, let's go over charging the battery in standalone mode. So you can see when we supply power, the screen comes on. You have a blinking light here that says uh, BT, that's wanting you to connect to Bluetooth. Uh, but you don't have to for this mode that we're going to try first and then it's not reading anything so we're getting zero volts let me just clamp on now this is a small little uh, 12 volt 12 amp hour battery that is uh, used for my solar powered front gate and uh, it immediately recognizes it as 12 volt small and says it's right around 13 volts which isn't bad so if it wasn't a 12 volt small we could just press one button to cycle through so 12 volt lithium 6 volt normal 12 volt normal normal meaning flooded lead acid battery then you have 12 volt repair so let's say it's an older battery and there might be some crystals and things built up you can go through the repair mode uh, which we'll try out with this battery because I replaced it. It wasn't functioning very well. Um, another button press says 12 volt supply. So I'm not really sure what that means. The manual says it will provide an output supply of a constant voltage of 13.5 volts and a maximum current of 6 amps. So maybe you connect this to a battery that's being 
uh, drawn from in, in your house or camper or something like that and this would keep it trickle charged while the battery is under load let's cycle back through again to 12 volt small so by double clicking it starts the charging process so it shows us here that uh, we are at 90% state of charge and then these three dashes are going to start taking readings and tell us where we're at. We're at 13.3 volts and since we're so high in the charge rate we are uh, at 0.3 amps. And a few hours later you can see we're at 100% state of charge and thus there is uh, zero amps being put into the battery. So let's go ahead and disconnect that and we'll turn the power off to the unit the screen shuts down interestingly when you go to the testing mode you do not need 110 volts hooked up you are supposed to test just off of the 12 volt battery now you can see when we hook up the terminals that it turns on it gives us a voltage reading, but we can't do anything to test the battery. So let's say it's a 12 volt small and we double click. It just blinks and goes right back to this screen. So you cannot do a standalone battery test. It has to be hooked up to the app. So let's do that next. All right, the Top Don app is currently in its beta form, so I had to be uh, sent a link so that I could download the app. But by the time it goes out widely, hopefully uh, all the kinks will be worked out and you can just get it right from the App Store or Google Play Store. So it says that Bluetooth is disconnected. Go ahead and click that. It's reading this guy, so let's select him. And now we're connected. So testing options. Let's go to battery test and we're given some warnings here. And one of the things you can take away is the testing is only for 12 volt lead acid batteries. So let's hit next and we'll put in our battery type. This is a regular flooded lead acid battery. Now there's several different styles of testing. The most common one, say you go to an auto parts store is going to be cold cranking amps. So let's just try that one. But there's like a Chinese standard, a, a European standard. There's all kinds of stuff to choose from on the battery standard you want to use. This is a really small battery. We only have a range of 100 to 2000 cold cranking amps. So let's just put in a hundred. I doubt it even has that many, but let's see what happens. And just like that, the test is done. So uh, the battery checks out with a green check mark uh, as good battery condition. Uh, we were doing the rating of 100 cold cranking amps. State of health is 100%. State of charge is 100%. And we tested out at 155 cold cranking amps. So now let's go out and do some tests on some real car batteries. All right, you are looking at the battery of our 2013 Honda CRV, and we just replaced this battery because we think there might be a parasitic draw because every so often my wife comes out to the car and it won't start. Uh, so let's do a test of it. That noise you hear in the background is not the engine. The engine is turned off. If you're hearing that noise, it's actually our ice maker that we have out in the garage. So I'm going to put on our clamps and I'm screen recording on my phone. So let's go to testing options, battery test. It's a regular flooded. We're going to do cold cranking amps. And this one is rated at 500. So let's change that. Testing. All right, good battery condition, state of charge, state of health, all 100%. And it tested at 604 cold cranking amps. So right now we're doing great. So now let's try the cranking test. All right, it says to turn off all electronics 
and then start the vehicle. So I'm gonna walk over. And they always leave the radio on, so I'm gonna turn the radio off and let's see what happens. Turn off all systems, press confirm, and then start the vehicle. Confirm. Good cranking voltage. Cranking voltage of 10.91 volts. Cranking time, 921 milliseconds. So, less than a second. Now, while the vehicle's running, let's go over to charging test. Hit next. Start the vehicle, turn off all electronics, then turn on the electronics. All right. Turn off all electronics, start the vehicle, press OK to continue. Confirm. The current voltage is 12.48 volts. Please confirm whether the vehicle starts successfully. Keep all electronics off. Increase engine speed to 2500 RPM and hold, then press confirm. So let's get up here, right there. Oop. And see what happened. Turn on the electronics, headlights, air conditioning, etc. All right. Headlights are on. AC's on. Turn that down just a touch so you can still hear me. Confirm. And we're testing. Uh, it says alternator no output. No load voltage. Mm, so that's not good. Now let's do it with 2,500 RPM going. See if that makes a difference. All right, confirm. There we go. Normal charging voltage. That makes me feel better. And there we have the full body of tests. Now we've dropped down to 12.7 volts. So while we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this guy in and charge the battery the rest of the way. Change it from 12 volt small to 12 volt norm. Double click. And it's showing us at an 85% state of charge at 12.7 volts. I'll start my stopwatch and let's see how long it takes to get to 100%. Let's try the 12 volt repair mode and we'll see how long it takes to charge. So this is the same size battery as the one that I showed you before, but it was the um, battery that was in series with it. It's showing 85% and we see little lines dashing across the screen to indicate that it's in repair mode. So we'll let that run, see how long it takes. So after about an hour, the screen on the charger itself showed that the battery was at 100%, but the little dash marks were still streaming across the screen the screen so I went into the app and as you see here it showed that it was charging and when I looked further you could see this pulsing going on uh, via the app which is pretty interesting and what that's showing is that the repair mode is using pulse current to break down the sulfates that have built up over time in the aging battery to extend its life straight out of the manual. After three and a half hours, there was no longer any dash marks on the screen of the tester, 
And when I went into the app, it just merely showed that it was connected. So I think that's enough testing to give all of us a pretty good sense of the capabilities of this unit. So if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the algorithms to start suggesting it to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing. Do you know that there's way more people viewing these videos that aren't subscribed than are? Here's the stat right here. It's free, you don't have to do anything. You just log in under your own username and click the like button and click the subscribe button. Or if you're on Rumble, the follow button, it really helps the channel. Now I'm gonna leave a link to this unit in the description below. Full disclosure, that'll be an Amazon affiliate link. So if you click on it and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. Now I'd like to also thank Topdon for sending me this unit for my independent review. I think it takes a lot of courage for a company to send out a product with no prearranged agreement on what I'm going to say. If you have any questions about this unit, please drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching.